What is up, Delicious Faithful? Bruce Moore here with a review of No Terror in the Bang's latest release, Heal. I had not been turned on to these guys until our teammate Joel sent over a, a copy to review, and holy cow, was I blown away. So without further ado, let's just get into it. No Terror in the Bang's latest album, Heal, is a visceral exploration of inner turmoil and transformation, marking a pinnacle in the band's evolving sound. The album fuses heavy riffs with haunting melodies and atmospheric elements, creating a dark yet cathartic journey that resonates deeply with listeners. Every track is meticulously crafted, revealing layers of complexity both musically and thematically. Heal is a testament to the band's ability to channel intense emotions into powerful, evocative compositions that linger long after the final notes fade. Man, I gotta tell you, I've been listening to this record since Joel sent it my way, and there is so much here. This record works on so many different levels. There's so much going on at once. It's emotional. I think the way metal should be, right? It should get into your soul and the melodies, the atmosphere, and then stir you and make you feel something. And I really think Heal does that. Let me get into some tracks real quick. Hostile stands out as one of the most aggressive and emotionally charged tracks on the record. From the outset, the song grabs the listener with a relentless barrage of guitars and drums, driving forward with an almost palpable sense of urgency. The vocals are raw and impassioned, delivering lyrics that speak to the internal battles we all face. Those moments of conflict and confrontation that shape who we are and who we are to become. The chorus, with its explosive energy, serves as both a release and a rallying cry. I feel embodying the anger and frustration that come with trying to overcome your personal demons. Something we all can relate to on different levels. The song structure is dynamic, shifting between heavy, riff-driven sections and more melodic passages that add depth and contrast, making Hostile a super powerful statement on the record. Equally compelling is Monster, a track that delves into the darker aspects of the human psyche. The song opens with a menacing bass line. The song opens with a menacing bass line and eerie atmospheric effects, immediately setting a foreboding tone. The lyrics explore the fear and self-loathing that come with confronting one's inner darkness, with the vocals alternating between very vulnerable whispers and fierce guttural roars. Musically, Monster is a roller coaster of tension and release, with quiet, introspective moments giving way to explosive, chaotic sections that mirror the emotional turmoil depicted in the song. The guitar work is real impressive here, with intricate riffs and solos that add layers of intensity to the track while not overdoing it. I think there's a danger with this kind of music where you can layer too much in or you could be too show-offy, if that's a word, but I think right here, No Terror in the Bang have nailed it. The overall effect is both haunting and exhilarating, making Monster one of the most memorable and impactful songs on Heel. I highly suggest you check out this record. There's a little bit of everything in there. It's sort of an amalgamation of genres. But the one thing I can say is you're going to feel this record. This record gets you right in the feels. And if you're like me, it's going to touch you to the core. I really enjoyed this. Go pick up No Terra in the Bang's Heel. Give it a shot. Let us know what you think. Keep it metal. <laughs>